Hello people, welcome to Congo Jenga YouTube channel. Um, today we want to talk about um, the forthcoming general elections. Um, but before we talk about that, I would like to request you to kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, share, comment and also hit the notification button so that anytime we upload a new video, you will be among the first people to be notified. So welcome to this amazing episode. Basically, we want to talk about um, the elections that are forthcoming on 9th August. And uh, I really want to talk to the young people because the young people, even as the Bible says, they are energetic so they can do so much. And this time, um, politicians of all levels from the presidential candidates to uh, the MCAs they are targeting the youth to work in their campaigns uh, during the elections and also um, in everything basically they are targeting the young people and this is my message to you young people um, Kenya Kenya is bigger than this election Kenya is bigger than that politician you're supporting. Kenya is bigger than that coalition you're supporting. So um, my, my, my appeal to the young generation, don't, don't be used by those politicians because they have their personal interests. In as much as they are coming to tell us that they want to serve us, we all know that they have their personal interests. They don't have our interests at heart. And for that reason, we should be really careful on how we treat each other. And um, we really need to be careful on how we even we talk about the other person or the other candidate. Because you may be talking to someone who doesn't support your candidate. And at the end of the day, you find yourself that you are in an agreement, in a disagreement with someone and it may result to something that maybe we all wouldn't wish to, to get to that level. So one, uh, I'd like us to know that Kenya is bigger than all of us and Kenya is bigger than the election that is forthcoming and everything that you do, uh, even as you go to support your candidate, remember that, never forget that. Number two, um, after the elections, remember that you will need your neighbor, you will need your brother, you will need your sister, you will need your colleague, you will need that person that you don't feel like talking to because he's not supporting the person you're supporting. So remember these people, after these campaigns, they go out for dinner together in those big hotels and they do post-mortems together, by the way. So you... you, you it is you who is on the, on the losing end. It's not them. So when we are supporting, uh, whoever, whoever you are supporting, remember that you need your neighbor after the ninth elections more than you need that leader. Because uh, peace will not start with that leader. Peace will start with you. If they tell you, let's fight, you go and tell your brother, we are not fighting. We are brothers. You go and tell your neighbor, we are neighbors, we need each other, we are not fighting. Yes, they, they've told us to fight, but we are not fighting. So that is my greatest appeal to us all that uh, before the elections, during this campaign period, just during this last stretch of the campaign, during the elections, and even after the elections, let us remain peaceful, let us remain um Together, let us remain united, one with another, um, so that at the end of the day, we won't be on the losing end. We will remain Kenyans, we will remain united, we remain as brothers and sisters, because that is important to us more than anything else. A famous quote says that peace is sweeter than unprotected sex, and that is true. Um... You will not believe that statement until you you are somewhere that you are fighting for peace. 
So let's not get to that point. We all remember what happened uh, in 2007, 2008, and we all know the, the, that the target was the youth. The target was the youth. So let's let's not give ourselves again uh, to this kind of um, scenarios. Let's 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 not fight. Uh, let's let's not be the fighting machines uh, for someone who doesn't even know you. He only knows that there are 40, 57 million or uh, forty seven million Kenyans, but he doesn't know you personally. He doesn't know you by name. But that person that you know by name, your neighbor, your colleague, you're fighting that person you know because of someone you don't know. Let us not get to that level as a country. Let us not get to that level as Kenyans. We really need each other after this election. We really need these businesses that we are doing. We really need the jobs that we are doing after the elections because life has to continue. And let me tell you something. After the elections, whoever will be elected, the first thing they will go to parliament or wherever they will go, the offices, they will get car grants, they will get security, they will get every good thing at your expense, Mr. Kenya. But what will you get? You'll go back to your kibanda, you'll go back to your shop, you'll go back to your small car business. They'll never come to support you, they'll never come to support your business, they'll never come to buy food from you, your, your hotel, they'll never come, back, come to to buy clothes from your, your boutique. They'll never come to buy that shoe from your shop. If you're farming, they'll never come to buy milk uh, from you. So those people who will come to buy those basic items on a daily basis, on an almost daily basis, it's that neighbor. Start brother, that sister, that you are despising right now because he's not supporting the person you're supporting. So let's let's wake up, let's uh, be real, let's think real. Let's not let politics drain us to a point of neglecting ourselves and making it look like um, there is no life after politics or making it look like that person you are electing will come and be the one that you'll be seeing every day, the one that will be supporting you. Uh, we've been here before and we've seen how politicians are. You let them and the next time you see them around you, it's when it's campaign time again. Those people that are picking your calls right now, after the elections, you won't believe. They won't be picking those calls. They'll go to an extent of changing those lines. So... Let's be wise, let's be wise, let's be wise. It's very important for us, it's very important. Uh, because, you see, like, for example, like, uh, if, if a politician tells you to, to go and raise a finger on your neighbor, um, but he's not telling you where his or her daughter or son is, the first thing they should do they should bring their children, put them on the uh, front line of the battlefield and tell us, now let's go. I've set an example. Let's roll. That happens, then you can go ahead and do it. But if the leader or the politician, because that's not a leader, if the politician that you are supporting is telling you to insult another person, if the politician that you're supporting is telling you to hate another person, tell him or her, bring your son, bring your daughter, let your daughter insult this neighbor, then I'll follow suit. We never see you. Okay, at some point you would even think they don't have families. They have families, very good families. But you'll never see them. You never see their children on those campaign trails. You never see most of their spouses on those campaign trails. But they want you to be there. They want you to 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 make sure you're there and you're causing all the drama that is expected. And at the end of the day, you're the one who is who will be on the losing end. 
so uh, it's my appeal to everyone watching this video and most especially to the young people it is very important to be peaceful in this election i have told you and i told i will tell you again peace is sweeter than unprotected sex and by that i know you know what i mean so let's 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 be vigilant let's be our brother's keeper let's let's protect our brothers let's protect our neighbors let's protect our society and our communities because at the end of the day when you have an issue you will call that neighbor when you have something pressing you will call that neighbor when things are wrong the first person to call is that neighbor so let's not um, behave like we don't know we don't know that these are the people that we need most let us not be um, corrupted in our minds by the politicians it's just for a season and after this that's when you realize that's when actually this message will make sense to you so let's let's be very very vigilant let's be let's embrace each other and when you're going to vote i encourage you just vote and go home it's very it's very it's very sweet if if you can wake up at six go out go and line up when the um, voting rooms are open vote go back go back home and for those of us who are on social media let's not incite others on social media during the election day because that is uh, another area that the young people are using to really 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 um insult others and it's it's not it's not wisdom that is foolishness uh, to say the least so for those of us who will be on social media for those of us who will be following the elections via um social media and are active on social media especially twitter and facebook let us exercise caution let's mind the language we will use let's mind the how we will engage people because at the end of the day that person will be maybe hurt and uh, it may end up not good maybe you may you may say something that will be to you it's an easy thing but to someone else it's something that is very bad or very hurting so let's be very vigilant in that as well and i believe that if we exercise this simple 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 uh, points this election will be very peaceful and after the election business will be back as usual life will be back as usual you will smile with your neighbor because you never insulted that neighbor when 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 uh, during uh, it may be before the elections during the campaigns and also uh, during the election day and that will help you to continue living together in harmony and in peace and for those few remarks um i wish you a very peaceful election and i wish you a very peaceful after election life may god bless you so much if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel remember to subscribe and let's continue supporting one another God bless you. Bye-bye.